Since we're all stuck at home, myself and a few other maker friends decided to create projects using only materials that we have on hand, meaning we cannot go to the store. So we've been posting the progress and these projects on Instagram using the hashtag build at home. So I'm going to link down to all those projects down below. Definitely check them out. For my project, I wanted to create something that will entertain my kids for a while and hopefully will keep them off of their screens for just a little bit. So we've had this marble collection for a while now, so I figured I'd put it to good use and create some sort of marble solitaire game. I started by drawing out a template on the computer, which can be printed out on my website. The template is just one piece of paper, but if you print it out three more times, you can overlap them at the center, creating the full scale template. So this circle is 12 inches, but there's going to be an outer well that's going to hold the marbles. So I'm gonna extend that out a little bit, uh, maybe to around 15 inches to be safe. I'm gonna try to find some wood that's going to be 16 inches. So 16 by 16. All right, this is gonna be the hard part. All right, should I glue up a bunch of scraps and like make like a cutting board kind of thing or should I go for something bigger that's already milled up and it would be easier? I'm gonna go with the ladder. All right, let's see what we got. Okay, so this is eight. This is a really nice board of cherry, but I'm gonna have to mill that up not wide enough. This is a really nice like exotic. I don't know. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, all right. Okay. I think I'm gonna use this. Can't go wrong with walnut. All right. So this is a nice chunk of walnut that's left over for my keyboard stand build. So uh, this is the perfect size. And I think the dark color is going to be a really nice backdrop to all the bright, colorful marbles. So I'm just going to Chop it in half and glue it up. While that's drying, I can work on the template. I taped all the pieces together and I found this quarter inch piece of plywood that's around the right size. And I think my first step, what I'm going to do here is to cut it into the circle first before marking out any of these holes. To cut it into a circle, I made this quick circle cutting jig out of something that was clearly meant to be something else. But remember, I cannot go to the store. I have to use what I got for this project. So I will mark six inches from the edge of the bit and drill a hole. Now I'll mark the center of my board here. Doesn't need to be perfect drill another hole and that now I'll put the jig into place and cut away Now I just want to make sure that the center of this circle template is going to line up with the center of my paper template. So where's my nail? There it is. So I'll just drive this little nail in through the center of the template here so I can line it up. Now this can easily line up into the center. And I'll just mark in the center of all the crosshairs. And now I will just use a three quarter inch Forstner bit and drill out all the holes. I'll put it on top of this MDF just to prevent tear out.
trying to figure out the order of events here. Should I do the holes first or should I do the outer well first? So I think I'm going to go with the outer well first so that I have a solid center point for a circle cutting jig to cut out that well. This router actually comes with a circle cutting attachment that I totally forgot about. On the template, the measurement from the center circle to the outer ring is six inches. So I will set the circle cutting jig to cut six inches away from the center of the bit. swapped out the bit and adjusted this so that it's about like seven inches away from the center of the bit. And I'll screw it into the center again and cut out the circle. Well, that's a lot of dust. And now I have a round cutting board with a juice groove in case you were wondering how to make one of those. <laughs> so uh, now I'm going to use some double-sided tape onto the template. And I'll do my best to line this up. In order to make these holes rounded on the bottom to fit the marbles, I'm going to use a core box bit that has a bearing that will ride along the template. This bit and a lot of the other bits I used in this video are from Tools Today. Some of the most common questions that I get are about my table saw blades and my router bits. And if you've asked me these questions before, you know that I prefer Amana blades and bits, like this thin kerf ripping blade, which is awesome, and this edge banding bit set that I featured in my edge banding video. And the best place to get these blades and bits is from Tools Today because their shipping is crazy fast and they have a ton of options for high quality tools. So I'll make sure to link down to some of my favorites down below. And I'm also going to link to all the bits that I use to make this project. All right, now I'll just plunge into the wells of the template and follow it along with the bearing and hopefully it will make the wells that I need. Again, hopefully. That was easy enough. So I made a little bit of a mistake. So the center hole, I just drilled a little bit too far. So I'm going to fill that in before taking the template off. And on the other side, the dowel is still sticking out and that's why I kept the template on and now I could just flush it up. Like it never even happened. Let's take the template off. And that is it. So my parents had this in the house growing up and on the underside, it was covered in felt to protect the furniture. So I thought that I was going to use these, but as it turns out, I only have three of them and I think I would need four just to keep it from wobbling. So after quarantine's over, I will pick up some more of these and now I'm gonna go take it inside and surprise the kids. Okay, how do you think it works? Is each, is each marble like one team? You have to, um, throw. No, there's no throwing involved. Fine. So it's a one-player game? It's a one-player game. 
Do you want to teach you guys how to play? Yeah, I don't know. I just was guessing and I don't know it. And I know it's not it. So, fill up all of the holes except for the middle one. Okay. Is the ridge on the side, like, actually supposed to be there or just for decoration? It's actually supposed to be there. Fill, them all, fill it all up. Oh, I helped Mommy make this. The goal of the game is to just be left with one marble. So how do you think you go about doing that? Do you try to like, you can only like move one at a time and try to get like all around the edge? No, no, no I think I know how. Like see this, this has the same one as this. So you get to put these ones on the edge. Nope, I have a feeling that the colors don't matter at all. <gasps> do you like flick one and then whatever comes There's out? There's no flicking involved, no. You wanna keep guessing or no? No. No. Um, I ran out of guesses. Me too. Okay. Um, I don't have any guesses. So, you have to jump. And when you jump, oh. you take away the one that you jumped over. And then oh. you keep just jumping one. Like this? You... Nope, you have to jump only one space. I'm messing my plan. Hey. You wait, guys, it's a game that you play by yourself, so you have to take turns playing it. I go first. <laughs> wow. I go first. Can you jump diagonally? Like, for example, let's say this, like, let's say. No, I'm just, I'm just showing an example. Let's say this isn't here. Can you go like that? No. So no diagonal? No diagonal. So you lose if there's, if there's no possible way for you to jump? Yeah. I ran a lot of possible ways. No possible moves. Mommy, right? there's no possible moves. I think you're out, yeah. No. How many do you have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, I now lost now. by eight. Now I'm going to go. One, two, no. One, two. Six. Doesn't matter. I counted eight. Now I'm going to go. Let's see how much I get. Captain nine. It was actually ten. You missed one. Ten. My turn. Let's see how I do. Well, I haven't played this game since I was little. Bro, bro you're gonna be better when you get older. Or pra uh, pra practice is gonna come to you. Yeah. Mommy, you, you played this game stuff. when you were little. Yep. Did you memorize the way to win? Mm, no. All right. Mm -hmm. Mom, you said it was single player, but this isn't really single player. Oh wow, that is cool. He rolls it. He didn't roll that one. She's gonna be your kids. Mommy's gonna be us. I know it. Three. Three. You're good at this. Uh, now it's my turn again. 